So in this video, I want to talk about one thing that's part of a man's shadow that keeps him from being amazing and powerful with women. And this is something that a lot of men don't look at and will spend a lifetime dealing with and will affect every part of your life, actually. Your income, your health, success all around, but particularly uh, your life with women. If you do manage to get a woman and you have this problem, most likely your relationship will fall apart eventually anyways. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a way to start transmuting this area today and radically shift every part of your life, especially your life with women. So what is that one thing? That one thing is blame. So many men are blaming everything in the world, anything they can think of, on their reason they don't have the girl of their dreams, they don't have the relationship with their dreams, they don't have the sex life of their dreams. They blame women, that's a big one, right? They love to say that, you know, oh, all women are bitches, all women are manipulative, all women want to take my money. They love to blame other men, you know. Uh, men are, are uh, buying women, they're, they're paying for them, and, and women don't want normal guys anymore. They don't care about us guys, that's another one. Uh, they blame COVID. You know, because of COVID, I can't have the life of my dreams because, you know, women aren't going out anymore. They're not wearing, they're wearing masks everywhere they go, so I can't approach them. They blame the masks. They say bars aren't open, I can't take them on dates. Uh, things like this. The list goes on and on. Literally, when we take clients out in the field, will we, will we still say, hey, what about that girl? And they're like, no, she's too ugly. She's too this, she's too fat. She's and some of these girls are actually gorgeous and everybody around them is saying, wow, look at her, she's amazing. And they'll have every reason in the world not to talk to her. After they approach, they walk up and they blame everything on why it didn't go right. They blame her, she was a bitch, she was cold. And we'll look back and she wasn't, she was actually really nice. Uh, they'll blame people around, there was too many people and they were watching me and uh, they were judging me. So the list goes on and on. And whatever you can think of probably been said to one of us on a coaching and a, and, a, and a workshop at one point or another. So kind of take that in for a minute. How do you use blame to avoid changing your life with women, to avoid becoming really powerful with women? That's the main question. And what you really need to do is take an inventory of the ways you blame the world for your problem. You see, the most successful people in the world, whether it's with women or anything else, they don't blame. They take 100% responsibility for everything they create in their life. Now that may sound ridiculous because there's no way I, I'm creating all this. But if you act as if, even if it's not true, then that gives you a lot of power. Your subconscious mind starts to say, wow, if I created all of this, good or bad, then I have the ability to create whatever I want. And that's awesome. And as you believe that more and more and buy into that story more and more, you'll be surprised at what you actually create. It's pretty amazing. The most successful people in the world say, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna do something about that. I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna shift that reality. You know what? I don't, I don't know if I, I like this girl, I'm gonna go over and find out. I don't know if this approach will work. I don't know if I'm, I'll find out. You know what, I don't think this will work, but I'm gonna try it anyways and just see what happens. And that's what makes them so successful. They're willing to experiment. They're willing to take the action and learn from it. They're willing to take risks. They're willing to push their boundaries they're willing to say, you know what? I don't think this is gonna work, but you say it will, you're the coach, I'm gonna try. And that's the big difference. Are you willing, are you open? Do you take 100% responsibility? I'm gonna invite you into the idea that you can start taking that responsibility today. Now, how do you do this? It's simple. Walk around and notice where you start to wall off, where you start to resist, and you start to judge. It's particularly judgment. It's the, the pride category of emotions when we talk about the revealing process. If you look at the pride category, judgment is in there. That's where you start blaming everything outside, outside of yourself for your current reality. If you can start to make a list of these areas where you judge things, then um, you can start to do something about it. So literally, just take a notebook the next few days and notice all the places you, you start to bitch, moan, and complain about why you're not succeeding. All the places you say, well, you know, if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for that, and just start to write them down, catch them start to notice them and then, and then start to write beneath that I take 100% responsibility for this area of my life just as an experiment for one month I take 100% responsibility for this area of my life in the sense that I am creating it start to note that on, on, on the notebook and start to notice how your reality how when you take 100% responsibility it gives you a certain power 
It gives you a certain power. Like literally, I'm not approaching that woman because I'm scared is what you can write instead. So these are just a couple examples. I'll give you more at the end of the video and more specific ways you can challenge this area of your life and make a radical shift in this area of your life. So before I get into how to solve this problem, I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you're getting value out of this video or this channel, please subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button and make sure to hit the bell notification. Also, please share. The more you share, the more we grow this channel, the more you subscribe the more awesome content we can bring you. And with that said, also comment. They give us a comment or two, we check the comments constantly and it helps us figure out what to bring you more of and really gives us a sense of what you guys want out there in, uh, in YouTube land. Now let's dive into how to solve this problem. So how can you change this area of your life? How can you make a radical shift in this area quickly? One is you gotta become conscious of it. Notice all the places you're blaming. Uh, ask your friends to catch you, to call you on this, especially people that want to help you in this area of your life. If you've got a group of friends that you go out with to practice meeting women, every time you start to blame something in your external reality, ask them to call you on it, ask them to point it out. Start to take note of all these different areas that you blame. Do you blame women for all your problems? I'm not saying there's not difficult women out there, but if you blame them constantly, make them wrong, you're gonna draw those types of women to your life. Just like a woman that gets a man that abuses her all the time, draws an abuser over and over and over again. A guy that gets manipulated by women will draw a woman that manipulates him over and over and over again because he's worried about getting that woman. The reticular activating system of his brain calls her into his reality over and over and over again. So I wanna invite you into this idea that you can start to become aware, track this area of your life. Just write it down in a notebook. You know, I tend to blame women for being bitches and for being manipulators. I say that uh, other men just buy women and that's the only reason they get them. Because that guy's short and bald, he can't be good with women, so he has to be buying her. And, and that's a message to your subconscious mind that you can't get women like that. So start to notice where you blame. Write it all down and then start to, start to tear it apart. We call this reframing. You can either use the re, uh, revealing process, which is a powerful process we teach online to welcome all the emotions and let them go, or you continue to reframe and notice that all of these areas, even though they may seem like they're true, there's always somebody doing the opposite. There's always somebody that's, that this isn't true for. For example, we talked about the guys with the money. I know two guys in particular, they're good friends of mine that lived in a van that had plenty of women in their lives. Matter of fact, women would pay for them. And so it can't be 100% true that guys that are broke can't get girls. Okay, how about this one? Uh, a lot of people say short guys can't get girls. I have a client that's five foot two that killed it with women. And he's married to a gorgeous woman now because of it, because of all the training he did. I know another guy that was three feet tall in a wheelchair. Some of you know who he is. You can look him up, Sean Stevenson. And I used to go to, I've been to a party with him. That guy, women loved. He had a great time with women. So every time you think you've got it figured out at why the external world is holding you back with women, go out there and actually actively look for the opposite and you will find the proof. And as you start to see that all your stories are bullshit, one at a time, you'll start to more and more want to take 100% responsibility for your life and say, I am going to create my life the way I want. Because every time you punch a hole, one more excuse is gone. Next time you punch a hole, one more excuse is gone. Next time you punch a hole, one more excuse is gone. And pretty soon, you gotta admit, you have a lot more power than you realize, okay? So I wanna invite you into this idea that you're gonna stop blaming the world. You're gonna stop telling the world that, that it's responsible for creating your bad life or crappy life. And you're gonna start to take 100% responsibility. Whether you can see that as 100% true or not, act as if, because that's powerful. So if you like this video, I'm gonna invite you as some next steps to check out a couple other videos that can really help you with this area of your life. One is on being a man. It's a video that Anthony did, and we'll link that video in here. And it's, there's also another video that I did that's a revealing process release on the same topic that will help you to shift this area of your life. It helps you to take more responsibility and realize you're the chooser in the world. You create your reality, and the release is so powerful for that. So check out those videos, really dive deeper into this topic if you want to be 100% creator of your life. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was awesome sharing this content with you. And as always, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.